Someday soon, it's likely a drone will deliver the package you buy online to your doorstep. And it's a local company making those vehicles now. Paula Toti is here to show us what that vehicle will look like. And I have to say, Paula, this fascinates me. This is a really fun story. You know, Rob, we are used to having someone come to our door with a package. Thank you very much, Jerry. But imagine this, what if the delivery vehicle were parked a couple of miles away and then you had little drones flying the packages to several locations centered around that vehicle? It could save time and money. Now, when the FAA gives approval for the commercial use of drones, the local electric car company called AMP is going to be ready. At this warehouse in Loveland, it sure looks like these guys have one of the best jobs in the world flying this remote helicopter. Yes, most of us would call it a drone, but at AMP they feel that sounds like a spying device. They prefer an unmanned aerial vehicle or UAV. We've been in development for a year, okay. so we didn't want to do it until we could prove they could survive the rigors. You know, it's got to survive cold and hot and wind and all the things cars have to survive. And it looks like it certainly can. We've got a demo of the device from AMP engineers along with UC engineers who have teamed up for the project. This little guy has been given the trademark name Horsefly. It really can fly to the top of the delivery truck where it can recharge. It can fly off in the distance and it can come really close to me with a two pound package. Nicely done. He didn't even wait around for a tip. The feeling is Horsefly would have an edge in the delivery business because it would team up with the electric delivery fleet vehicles for recharging. The electric car business already has proven success with battery technology, and teaming up with UC has allowed for some proprietary technology. Obviously can't talk a whole lot about it, but you can see that it's pretty windy today, and the wind doesn't really bother it. And it's pretty redundant. We have we had a lot of fail-safe built into it. And if we lose a prop or two, we can still handle it. But the bottom line, the project has to make economic sense to go to market. This guy costs two cents a mile for a delivery. The big electric trucks, about 28 cents. So every mile on the horse fly saves money, and it can go about 20 miles on a charge. It's expected the FAA will give the okay for the commercial use of drones by the end of this year or early next year. Right now, they can be used by the military. Also, hobbyists can fly a drone. And universities, they were at the control of the drone tonight or the UAV, whatever you want to call it. Rob, what did you think? I think it's fascinating, and I think it's going to come faster than we think it will. Also, does somebody have to fly it, or does it automatically find your house? And how does it keep from running into you? Well, apparently it's proprietary why it doesn't run into you because you saw it kind of coming towards me and I was going like this. The person at the controls was able to lower it. I do not know in all honesty how if someone wasn't within eye shot of it, that would all work. That's yeah. all part of the technology. It, it is amazing. And they're really concerned that it doesn't fly out of the sky. That's why they have eight propellers so it could keep going because you know, it could hurt somebody if it fell. Yeah, no kidding. I was thinking that. <laughs> and it sounded loud, was it? It was. Well, kind of like what you have, you know, with the, the airplanes that you do remotely. Yeah. Paula, thanks very much. That mm -hmm. was fun. It's also expected the FAA will restrict drone commercial flights to no higher than 400 feet and certainly not near the airport.